A long time ago on this channel, I proclaimed that there was the doomsday in 2015 due to a meteor, which obviously didn't happen, but it was very, very, very different for me because 2015 was, uh, well, a few years ago. Um, on that day, now, <laughs> our, now this actually lasted eight days, <laughs> now, because, you see, it all started on a day like any other day, I was getting ready for school, and, um, you know, I just happened to glance at the TV, hear it, and, uh, they said, oh, scientists have just discovered a meteor that could potentially hit the Earth and wipe out most of the population. Um, yeah, that was something I did not, I was not prepared to hear. Now, people don't remember this very well. I don't know why. I mean, sure, it didn't happen, and that's probably why, but it's like... Why wouldn't you remember that? I mean, they remember every other Armageddon and Doomsday and whatever. And anyways. Um. And yes, I do. I, I'm aware that the background is just complete darkness. I couldn't find a suitable background, so. Yeah. That's just going to have to do for right now. And, um. Yeah. So, um, you know, I was obviously depressed because the world was going to end, quite literally, in a matter of days. They literally said, you people who are listening may want to call their loved ones and say goodbye. We had no idea when the meteor would hit, but they estimated that it would hit in eight days after that. Which it didn't. But, you know, final day. 7 o'clock in the morning. The media were supposed to hit at 8.25 about then, I think. Just after first hour, right? Just right at the end of first hour. And my mom, I asked my mom if I could stay home that day. Obviously, because it was a, because there was a, well, the world was going to end. <laughs> And I wanted to play my video games for the last time I would ever have to do that and all that. And I wanted to make a my first video that day. But actually I wanted to make a video that day saying, saying goodbye out to all you loyal viewers and all that. But, you know, she wouldn't let me stay home. So I had to go to school. And, uh, yeah, of course nothing happened. But, you know. It was a very stressful final moment. Like, I was, like, so, like, ready for it. But I was, I was, like, I didn't, I was thinking about all the stuff I didn't do and all that stuff. And, boy, it was different. And then, at the time they said it was going to hit, nothing. I, uh, and we're still alive today. <laughs> so... This is just a brief summary of that. I will do a more in-depth video next... Well, no, not next week, because I'll be somewhere, probably. I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's basically what happened. And I'm surprised not more people remember that. Because it was going to be like a global threat and all that, a global crisis, and they raised the alarm, and, I mean, they didn't want, they, didn't, they wanted us to be, to feel as normal as possible until the final moments, and, yeah, it was literally, like, actually a thing, and I'm surprised not more people talk about it, because it was quite literally almost the end of the world. This has been Mrs. Steam Trains, or uh, Mr. Steam Trains. Please subscribe and click the notification bell on all notifications if you like my videos, the stories of my trains, or just any of the funny, wacky stuff that I do on this channel. Goodbye for now, my well viewers.